Today's recipe is a simple but delicious recipe used with vermicelli noodles and the recipe is a Singapore noodle recipe. You will always make it at home once you try this recipe, so keep watching. The main ingredient for this recipe is the rice steak, which is the rice vermicelli noodles we are using. It is so easy to cook with and it cooks so fast, you guys, it cooks in like 3 minutes. To season, I will be using light soy sauce and some sesame oil to give it that rich, deep Asian flavor. I have some red onion which I believe is purple onion because look at that color it is purple isn't it I don't know why they call it red onion but anyway I have some of that onion and some spring onions I have some eggs for this recipe trust me you will love the addition of eggs in this noodle I also have some chicken breast which has been deboned I also have some peeled and pre-cooked prawns that's why they look orange already I have my chili bullets over here. If you watch my last grocery haul, you would have seen it and you would have known how excited I was about this pepper. I have some grated garlic paste here. I have white pepper here. I love white pepper so much. I use it in a lot of my recipes. I also have some grated ginger. This is one of the key ingredients of this recipe and it is a curry powder. It is going to give it beautiful coloring, it is going to give it delicious flavor so don't skip it. I have some vegetable oil for stir frying. I also have a couple of bell peppers, that's green bell pepper, red bell pepper and yellow bell pepper and I also have some carrots. The most stressful part of this recipe is prepping everything because I like it to look uniform so I'm going to try to first of all slice my onions into like thin strips and also I will be cutting the spring onions into thin strips as well. All of the bell peppers will be cut into thin strips and I feel like it makes the meal look much nicer especially when everything is uniform. The carrot also will be cut into matchsticks and the prep is the main work of this recipe. To make this recipe fast for maybe dinner, lunch or anything, you can prep the vegetables in advance and use them throughout the week or as the month goes by. All about prepping ahead and planning my meals, that is the only way I get to make sure that I organize my kitchen life and prioritize so many other things in my life. If you want to get a copy of my menu planner, it's a six months menu planner, kind of like a full timetable, inspiration for meals, for dinner, breakfast and lunch. If you want to get a copy, the link will be in the description box. It is a digital download it will download straight to your phone so get a copy and look how uniform everything is looking so good next I'm going to prep the chicken breast and I'm going to cut it as thin as possible if you are using the same chopping board as me Try and make sure you cut your vegetables first before you do anything like meats, chicken or shrimp. That way you avoid cross-contamination of your food. Next, I'm going to crack open two eggs and then whisk everything together and I'll just set it aside for the cooking. So I told you the prep part is the work. As for the chili bullets, I've just blended it roughly and I'll set aside. I've been boiling water in a pot. Once that water is boiled, I'll transfer the rice stick into the boiled water and I'll turn off the heat. So you're not cooking it, you're just dipping it in boiled water and then you're just going to mix everything, keep stirring so that it doesn't stick together and it cooks in 3 minutes. By 3 minutes it should be cooked and what you're going to do is take a sieve and drain the water. Look at it, it's already cooked. <laughs> it cooks that fast, you don't have to boil it. If you boil it, it's going to be mushy. So now I've mixed everything together and I am sure that it is cooked. I'm just going to take a sieve and drain all of that hot water out. Once you drain the hot water, add some cold water so that it will stop the cooking process. Once you add the cold water, drain it also, leave it in the sieve and then we will come back to it later. He 
in a stir fry pan add some vegetable oil this is the first time I'm using this particular stir fry pan if you watch my video about the haul I did a few weeks back you would have seen the pan so this is the first time we're using it so I've just added the eggs to it and I'm just going to allow it fry I'm going to scatter it so that it does not stay in one piece we're going to use it for the noodles so it needs to be scattered Once it's done frying, I'm going to transfer it to a bowl and stir fry the remaining ingredients. The next thing I'm putting is the chicken breast and I'm going to stir fry this. I'm going to season with a little bit of salt. You have to be careful with seasoning because we're going to use soy sauce later and you don't want it to be too salty. Soy sauce is salty and it's enough seasoning for you. In the same pan I've added a bit more oil now I'm stir frying the onions and I love all that stickiness at the bottom of the pan because it's going to make it extra delicious I've added the ginger garlic paste and I've added the pepper and the flavor that fills the room or the kitchen is so amazing I love it so much this is like my favorite combination now you add the curry powder this is the best time to add the curry powder anytime I'm cooking with curry powder I add it to the oil because the oil needs to fry the curry powder so that it releases its flavors next I'm going to add the prawns and then I stir fry that this is the importance of prepping your ingredients beforehand because this process goes so fast and you need everything prepped as you can see everything is unsticking from the pan meaning it's adding flavor to what I'm cooking now I'm adding that white pepper and I'm just going to continue to stir fry for about two minutes because shrimp does not take time to cook I'm adding the bell peppers now and add it towards the end let it cook for a minute or two add the chicken stir fry everything together add the eggs and just mix make sure you do not lose the color Add your soy sauce and your sesame oil at this point and everything comes together nicely. Now it is time to add your noodle. Add your noodle gently and then just stir fry. The last thing I like to add when I'm making stir fries is my spring onion because it doesn't need to cook too much and the flavor it gives is really lovely especially at the end of the cooking process. So now I'm just going to mix everything together so that we have a nice dish. I've tasted Singapore noodles in the past but the first time I fell in love with it was when I traveled to Worry to visit my sister and she made it for us. I was like you know what I never used to like this thing but the way you made it now makes so much sense. So since then it's been one of my favorite recipes and I've been getting requests lately to do it. I don't know why. I present to you my Singapore noodle recipe. It is so rich so delicious so colorful you will love it if you try it please tag me on social media i would love to see it also click the like button on this video it helps me out subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in my next video bye